I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This, of course, is the tropical update here on YouTube. Glad you found us. And again, things continue to be quiet uh, across the Atlantic Basin, so no complaints about that. National Hurricane Center officially saying over the next five days, they're not expecting any sort of tropical formation to cyclone formation, at least a formal uh, to be happening uh, again across the Atlantic the Caribbean and as well as the Gulf of Mexico. One thing that is going to be contributing to that, especially where the Atlantic is, you see this large area of that Saharan dust. So just a quick reminder uh, what happens with the winds blowing in or blowing off of the coast of Africa picks up a lot of dust puts that up in the air and where you have those heavier or thicker areas of dust, tropical formation is a little bit more difficult to have happen. And so we like that in the sense of that it's not allowing as much tropical activity happening. And we again, we have a large area that's sort of over the low, the southern portions of the Atlantic will continue to track that as it moves more or less into the Caribbean and then an as it gets a little bit closer to the Gulf of Mexico. All that again, good news as far as the tropical formations go. And once that gets to the US, whether that be in Florida or New Orleans or even us folks over here in Houston, that does impact us a little bit, creating some haze in the skies. And it certainly sets us up for some beautiful sunrises and sunsets. But sometimes when it's thick enough, it actually becomes a little bit of an irritant to some of us who are, have some lung sensitivity. So just something to kind of keep tracking and we'll keep kind of watching that as it moves forward. Also wanted to take just a quick moment uh, today to talk about sort of a little bit of the anatomy of the hurricane as far as the, the quadrants that we're talking about. And we make this reference quite a bit. When you take a look at a hurricane and let's say this hurricane again is moving, you know, pretty much straight to the north or straight up here on our uh, track, that right front quarter. So if we were to divide this hurricane into quadrants or quarters, this right front quarter is always going to be where the worst of whatever happens will happen, whether that be storm surge or high winds, the possibility for tornadoes. And so that's why if you know, if Houston were dead center here where this arrow is to the east of Houston, if this is where the landfall would be taking place, things are going to be worse than over to the west of that. And that's why you hear about the dirty side or the wet side or the dry side. That's kind of what's referencing because this front right quadrant is always going to be the worst. Now, a little bit more variability with what's happening on the left. For sure, you're going to see a little less rainfall overall. Your storm surge will also be a little less, but still certainly going to see an impact by storm surge. It just won't be as high or as strong as what's happening in the right front. And then over on the back side on the right one. The wind is definitely going to be a concern. I wouldn't rule out the possibility of tornadoes as well as that passes through. And then that left quadrant is where the weakest of everything is going to be happening overall. So again, just kind of a little bit of a breakdown on while we always talk about that right front. Remember that's that counterclockwise rotation that's going around uh, when a hurricane is making its movement. So want to make sure you're thinking about your hurricane preparedness plans. Always a good idea. We want to be ready because we know at some time there's going to be something that comes back to Houston or anywhere along the Gulf Coast. Make sure you've got those plans in place. Download the Fox 26 weather app. That would be a great way to stay connected and stay informed, especially once something forms. And just a reminder, uh, you know, if your power goes out, but you're able to keep that cell phone running, uh, keep that cell phone charge, uh, the Fox 26 weather app will have a way for you to view anything that we're putting on the air. So that's a great way to see what we're doing live, as well as all the information, other information that's that's coming into there as well. All right, we'll be back tomorrow with another update right here on YouTube.